Sevgili arkadaşlar, Türkcell Teknoloji Zirvesi 2019'da Türkcell'in daha önce yaptığı zirvelerde olduğu gibi yine çok özel konuklar var. Onlardan bir tanesi de Rodney Brooks. Kendisi hem kurduğu şirketlerle hem de MIT tarafındaki verdiği akademik taraftaki başarılarla aslında çok önemli bir isim. Kendisiyle röportaj yapacağız. Rodney, first of all, thank you very much. Thank you. Is your first time in Istanbul? First time in Istanbul, yes. Do you like it? Oh yeah, I, I saw some great things yesterday and I'm enjoying it. So what about Turkish food? I, I, I'm enjoying the Turkish food. The rush hour traffic, not so much. Oh, okay. So, first of all, I'm going to ask you to some common questions like how can i say it's a kind of cliche questions do you agree with that kind of idea the robots will replace the humans i i think human level performance in anything is very very difficult mm-hmm. and so far the systems we've built in ai don't have anything like the intent or the essence of mm-hmm. trying to do something on a long term basis mm-hmm. they're good at classifying they're good at making immediate decisions of some mm-hmm. sorts that's a long way from human level performance mm-hmm. now hundreds of years from now perhaps mm-hmm. but not in the next 10 to 25 years mm-hmm. people actually fear about the how can i say like some somebody says skynet is coming because robots with the artificial intelligence may be harmful for the human. Do you agree with that? Um, th- that is so far in the future mm-hmm. that, that uh, you know, it's sort of the Hollywood effect. Mm-hmm. When Hollywood makes a movie, they take the world today okay. and they put some super intelligence in it. Mm-hmm. But in real life, when we get the, the new technology, mm-hmm. it, it's just a little advanced. And we as a society change okay. and change what we want. Mm-hmm. And so we regulate it or we decide whether we like it or not like it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't come at all at once. Mm-hmm. So that fear is the, of the idea of this fantastic thing happening very quickly. Mm-hmm. It won't be mm-hmm. happening very quickly. Before we get, you know, the Skynet type yeah. intelligence that wants to do bad things to us we'll have really annoying robots mm-hmm. and before that we'll have grumpy robots mm-hmm. and we'll change the robots we won't build yeah. them that way it, it, it will evolve over time so do you believe that robots can get or can develop their own consciousness consciousness is something we don't understand at all we have there's been zero zero progress even though people have worked on it for 50 or 60 years in principle yes in principle because we are machines of some sort so mm-hmm. another machine could be conscious but we have no idea how to, how to make that happen mm-hmm. and i am absolutely certain that your grandchildren's grandchildren mm-hmm. will never see that it will happen a lot later if at all for robotic sites can you describe us what is next for the robotics for example with the 5g we can see a new kind of user scenario with the robots yeah i think 5g is going to be a big impact in that it, it enables the internet of things and enables us to collect data from lots of sensors and collect lots of outcomes and deep learning which has been very successful relies on large amounts of data large amounts of examples mm-hmm. so 5g is really going to push the sorts of places we can collect mm-hmm. for, for from such cheap sensors that we have now, push the data that we can collect and understand what's happened and learn about that. Um, but it's going to be things like making indoor farming better. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not going to be uh, taking over the world in any form. Mm-hmm. So before ending our interview, do you have any message to students who actually focus on the robotics or automation system, something like that? Oh, yeah, I think I think it's a golden age for robotics and automation. Um, many people are, are saying, oh, if I don't, if I'm not a coder, then there's no future. There's a lot of future for other aspects of robotics, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and systems integration. Mm-hmm. So um, please do that stuff. We need more of you. So good to hear that. Rodney, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.